time now for our exclusive first forecast on the news at nine with meteorologist Elise Finch in the Weather Center. Hi, Elise. Hi. So basically, this storm pretty much passed us by. Sure did. Unless you live in southern New Jersey, and then you were yes a part of this system. But for the rest of us. We didn't even see a snowflake for many locations. So let's go ahead and talk about today's high temperatures. Certainly, if we had any moisture in the area, it would have fallen as snow. Temperatures never got out of the 30s today, the low 30s at that. 33, the high today for Bridgeport, Connecticut, for Central Park, for JFK, LaGuardia, and Newark. I slip with a high of 31. So it was just cold out there all day long. It's still cold right now. As you take a look at these temperatures that are in the 20s, those are the warmest temps, with the exception of Tom's River, that's at 30. And then teen temperatures for Montana. Monticello and Poughkeepsie. So definitely, uh, it's just been a cold day from start to finish. As far as snowfall totals are concerned, for most, uh, I mean, we just had some early morning flakes. That really describes most of the area. And then again, as you head down toward Ocean County, that's where we're getting into that one to three uh, inches there. But again, this is really a storm that was two hours south. An area of high pressure north of us really suppressed that area of low pressure. So you can see, you look around the Washington, D.C. area, six to 12 inches of snow. And obviously, we saw just flakes. So this is what's still in effect, believe it or not, winter weather alerts and uh, are still in effect. Winter storm warnings and winter weather advisories for South Jersey. For the rest of us, absolutely nothing uh, with this system. So until 4 a.m., we're still going to have some of those alerts in effect. This is your Vortex Satellite Radar. Shows what's going on right now, which for most of us is just a little bit of cloud cover. Even as we head into South Jersey right now, doesn't look like a lot of activity there. Uh, again, we pretty much missed the boat on this one. Turning on your future Future cast, though, you'll see this is what happens, right? That last little bit of activity from the system, then things really look to clear out by about 8 o'clock on your Monday morning. So for tonight, partly cloudy skies, 23 degrees. That's your overnight air temperature. When you factor in the wind, it will feel like the teens. Winds out of the northeast between uh, turning north to 10 to 15 miles per hour. So again, it's not a tremendous wind, but when your temperature is only 23 degrees, it certainly feels very, very cold as we head into the day tomorrow. 35 degrees, bright skies, but still kind of chilly out there. 35 degrees again, winds out of the north 5 to 15 miles per hour. So at times it will feel even colder. So a cold start to the work week. We do warm up just a tiny bit uh, as we head into your Tuesday and Wednesday. So there's something to look forward to. I mentioned we are watching a system for next Sunday that could bring us some snow. We, of course, will keep you posted a little, a little early to get excited about early. it, but uh, it is a possibility. <laughs> and uh, just remember, though, we're heading into a holiday weekend. It's the Martin Luther King Jr. weekend. So this system looks to affect us basically on Sunday into Monday. So a lot of different scheduling issues. Right. So and, not as significant right. an impact as a Monday workday, but we'll keep you posted. All right. Thank you.